What's going on, folks? I'm trying to record this for the fourth time. This is going to be it. I am very excited to talk about prom caching from Entropic today because all I did today was, well, meetings, but also evaluating whether or not their claims about this saving you 90% in costs is actually true. So what is caching that they've announced? Basically, if you as a developer use their API, uh, you can tell them, hey, I have a lot of context. Let's say I have 100 thousand tokens that I want you to cache. Next time, when I ask questions about this long context, please uh, use the cached version and not, I, I will keep sending to you, but use the cached version and then I will basically have to pay you less. And so here's what they claim. They claim that uh, while writing to the cache costs a little bit more, re like every time you hit the cache, it costs you 90% less. So 30 cents versus 3.75 dollars and 30 cents is pretty much uh, for, for Claude Sonnet is pretty much what the regular haiku costs, right? So imagine that once you write for the first time to the cash, you get a very cheap Claude Sonnet afterwards. So I actually wanted to test this and I uh, I ran this code. So let's let's actually see the dashboard first and then I'll show you how I compare this and what are my comparison stats are. So here we go. I have my comparisons. I have I have run. Let me basically show you what I actually ran, right? So I have all my transcripts from Thursday I, the podcast that I'm a host of, from uh, August, uh, July 4th, 11th, 25th, etc. Um, quickly counting, there is around 100,000 tokens in the uh, around all of these, maybe a little bit more. Um, and we can verify this in a second. And then I basically shove all of this into the into the context here. I run through all the files. And I shove them into this like very nice prompt and I say, you'll be analyzing multiple podcast transcripts. And then here's your the rules. And basically this is my system prompt. And then I had, uh, you know, I had cursor help me with this calculate pricing function. And basically that's it. This is all the setup. Everything else here is just me getting cloud response with cash. Uh, sorry, this is with cash. This, this is how you do it. This is super simple. You just do cash control type ephem ephemeral. Uh, the only difference right now is if you're using their SDK, you have to use client beta prompt caching messages instead of just client uh, dot messages, right? So you have to go to this beta prompt caching. That's the only difference. And then you have to pass this cache control. That's basically it. And this is how you decide whether whether or not you want caching. And then you can you can keep adding to this cache as well, which is super nice. Basically here, I'm sending a hundred and something thousand tokens. <laughs> this is crazy. And then I keep asking these questions. Ignore the sprint. This is just for me. Uh, and those are my questions. Basically, I'm asking my, I'm asking you to summarize five, two hour, one, two, three, four, five. Each one of them is a two hour conversation. And so I asked it, summarize the major LLM related announcement from Meta across transcripts. And then I follow up, what else did Meta announce that's not related to LLMs? And then I do a few follow ups. And basically the way I evaluate this is I have two runs. I have one run with like two questions. So basically there's long context and two questions. And another one is long context and four follow up questions. And so basically this should show me, first of all, how long this runs uh, and also how much this costs. Let's take a look. Uh, and I ran this across Haiku and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, their best model. So a fast model and a cheap model. Uh, I'm using uh, Weights and Biases Weave, which is our evaluation framework to run this. Uh, so I have a custom scorer here. This is just because uh, we're using better software. So our uh, Weave doesn't support the, the token counts and the pricing counts yet because the beta software was released today. So I had to write my own thing to calculate this. Basically, this is all you need to run with evaluation this one and this one. Everything else is just like fluff around the fact that they just released beta model. Um, and I just ran the eval. So let's take a look. Uh, so first of all, this is a nice comparison dashboard that we can that we can take a look super quick. And we can see right off the bat that I'm comparing cached haiku versus uncached haiku versus cached sonnet versus uncached sonnet across runs. Uh, and we can see here the model latency. This is the average model latency across all runs that Claude sonnet uncached is the highest latency. And then you can see that uh, cash summit is, is faster. Uh, so already we see an improvement. And then also we see the same on average. This is an average uh, latency difference that cached haiku is way, way faster. We can actually dive into the numbers. And on average, cached haiku took me 21 seconds to process an insane amount of tokens. Insane. I'll show you how insane in a second, uh, where uncached, uncached haiku took me on average 38 seconds. Now, 
just the way that this is set up, uh, this doesn't tell the full story, and I'll tell you why in a second. But let's let's take a look at what actually else we see here. Uh, because of the way caching works, uh, you no longer send input tokens. So when you do uncached, uncached basically is the regular one, you keep sending those tokens, so they count up. So I basically sent almost a million tokens. I sent 900,000 tokens in total for all my requests. Uh, and then output basically is what the model returned, basically 2,000 tokens, almost nothing. Um, in the cached version though, here you can see significant difference because you can see that while uh, I basically paid for this once and then I paid, whoops, and then I paid for this going forward. So let me go back to the, to the pricing table, uh, going back to the pricing table that they have. Um, for the uncached version, right? Just base input tokens. Claude 3.5 Sonnet costs $3. So I paid for the uncashed version. I paid $3. So I basically paid $3 here. Let's let's click into this. And let's look at cost. Uh, I have costs in the summary. Where's my model output? And I have costs somewhere priced. E no, this is mean. That's not what I want. Summary. 23. That's not what I want. No. I think I screwed up my calculation. Uh, I basically should have paid around... Oh, no, this is Haiku. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Uh, I basically paid uh, this. Almost this, because I have 900,000 tokens, yeah? So I paid 0 0.23. Let's take a look for the same amount of tokens. For Claude, I should have paid almost $3. Yep, 2.77. Uh, because I paid for all these tokens. Now, if we compare this to the cached Sonnet, for example... I paid less than a dollar just for comparison, right? Because why? Because for I paid once for all of these, and then I only paid for what additional things I added on top of this, just the messages that the user added, which is which is basically this. Uh, and just a quick, a quick check GPT uh, request. It actually is way more uh, than than what they said. The cost difference from Sonnet was eighty eight percent cheaper. And the cost difference for Haiku was 97% cheaper. 97% cheaper by just using the cache and just enabling this on long context, right? Uh, let's look at speed as well. Let's look at speed. Um, so actually, I have another view here. Here's all of the here's all of the calls that I did, right? So for every evaluation that you see here, I actually did two two runs. I did one run with two follow-up questions and one run with follow -up, four follow-up questions. This is not how we do evaluations for the model. This is just me trying to, to, to compare things. Um, so here is Claude Sonnet uncached, right? With four, four follow-up questions versus Sonnet cached with four follow-up questions, right? So let's click into this. And we can see that it, it took us, where's my uh, latency? It took us 135 seconds to get uh, all of the results for, and those are not in parallel. I think I set the parallelism to one. 135 seconds to get all of the results uh, for Claude Sonnet uncached, 135 seconds in summary. And then uh, because the beta doesn't, I think it supports the sum, the, at least the tokens, 120 seconds. That's actually interesting. It's not that much speed improvement, see? They promised us like a lot of speed improvement, uh, but we didn't get a lot for Sonnet. That's very interesting. Um, for for the first round, for the two follow-up questions, I got, so this is, uh, you can see I have two follow-up questions here. The first one took 31 seconds because this is the actual cache write. Uh, and then the second one took only 16. And then on the second request, you can see all of them are smaller because I already wrote to cache. So all of them pretty much take the same 17, 14, 24 seconds. So this is pretty much jitter in network. Um, so you can still see that if I didn't cache anything, let's take a look, they all should take around 30 seconds, I think, unless they do caching on, on their backend. 24, 26, 28, 16. That's very interesting. Uh, that's very interesting. So I think they're doing kind of caching on their own. 34 and 17. Yeah, I have no idea. Look, the same amount of tokens. Uh, sometimes they return 17, sometimes they return 34. So it looks like some, some variability in their API. So 
speed wise we're not getting that much but price wise wow we're getting a lot of a lot of differences still though for 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 haiku the the, the speed the speed up is incredible look at this 45 percent speed up incredible um so yeah i will be posting the code for this if you want to double check and you run on on your own code or you want to see how this works for you uh i will be also posting this dashboard as well so you'd be able to play around with this and um the dashboard the code and this video so hopefully i'll be also talking about this on thursday night tomorrow caching is amazing i've been talking about this for a while i'm very happy that a frontier lab finally posted some results so hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, this is great shout out to anthropic folks for releasing this cheers Till next one.